Hey viewers, I'm Ray here. Today I'm going to guide you on how to get to know your Konica C35. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos that don't really explain slash describe the product really well. You know, they don't really say much. And I'm here to show you, you know, the features of the camera. I'm sure there's a lot of you film photographers out there who have this camera and really don't know much about it. Watching a video like this could benefit a lot and you don't have to do much you can just sit back and watch so this is the konica c35 this is a 70s model i'm not sure what year this is actually a model that andy warhol used back in his day i know that because i saw some pictures funny story about it um halloween 2013 i wanted to be andy warhol so i went through ebay and i searched for this camera and I bought it for like 20 bucks, which is quite a steal because these go for a lot of money. So yay me. This is a pretty cool camera. Has a lot of features. Has flash for instance. Just press this button. Pops up. And you can hear like this very high pitched sound. And this is the wound. The thingy where you, you know, roll the film. It's going to probably take flash right now. Yep, there we go. It's the shutter button right here. Um, the shutter speed is probably around either 100 or 125 fifths of a second, which is you know pretty fast. This right here, it looks they it looks at the sunlight and it sees where your exposure should be at. You know if it's equal, over or under. It's a great feature actually because. Pretty much the way you this, the way you capture light is through this, and it makes sure your picture is evenly exposed. So this is not a range finder; it's more of a, I guess, a light meter finder. This is actually the ISO right here. I don't know if you can see it. You can actually change the ISO according to you know the film that you bought. It goes from 25 to 400 as you can see it's uh, 38 millimeter f-stop 2.8 which is pretty big it goes all the way to 16 according to you know your exposure right here this is the button to make your film all loosey-goosey so when you have to roll it you roll it this is the rolling right here you lift this thingy up right here and you start rolling well you gotta put this down you start rolling and then you know you should have your film in one piece this light right here this light make sure makes sure that your flash is good to go it takes like a couple of seconds maybe eight or ten depending on your battery if your battery is low it's probably going to take longer and you might want to have to change the battery. And right here is the battery compartment for the flash. It requires two double A's which is pretty pretty cool. There's another battery right here. Let's see if I can, can unscrew this properly. I oh, guess I can. This is for the light meter. It requires, uh, I'm not sure what kind of battery but you know, not too big, not too small, just the right size for that. Pop it back in there. Sweet. This is your viewfinder, of course. In the viewfinder, you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but let's try to fix. Let's try to get that thing. Nope. You can barely see the. You see like a yellow line there and that's basically where your framing should be inside there's the exposure you can see the f the f-stops it goes from 2 to 16 depending on your light and there's like a red red little lamp on top and bottom that tells you if you're under or overexposed the lens well the Focus, pretty, pretty nifty. It goes from one meter to infinity, and for feet, 
3.5 to infinity which is pretty nice and on the side it shows you know it shows you uh more of a picturesque type kind of thing you got one person two people a group of people and landscape which is pretty much infinity pretty cool pretty cool now let's open this shit up open it here this is where you put your film put it right here take a picture maybe it works yep it works that's the shutter this is where you wind it you put your film in there this, this camera is kind of hard well for me to wind because there's like a little space where you have to get the film inside and it's just hard to like get it inside especially if you're doing it under you know complete complete darkness but um, I have a test roll which I, you know, practice a lot, you know, just in case I lost my touch or whatever. But um, I've taken two rolls, so I'm doing pretty good, I guess. Put it in there. With this one specifically, you don't have to wind it for it to catch on. Just make sure it's under pretty good. Close it, wind it, wind it, take pictures, and, um, you know takes pictures frame counter is right here the one on this model doesn't work I don't know how it didn't I don't know how <laughs> I'm probably fucked it up because I know it was at zero now it's like at it's always at 36 so it's pretty much my fault there's a little hole here you put in like this extension where um you don't have to physically <coughs> press the shutter button but you can just use a plunger and it plunges and it takes a picture it doesn't have bulb function, which kind of sucks, but, um, you know, you know, I have it, you know, for a camera like this. So, yep, this is it. This is the Konica C35.